Carrie Katona feared she was going to die during a crippling anxiety attack last week. The former Atomic Kitten star, 42, said she was left struggling to breathe from a swollen chest and throat which caused her to panic even more. Carrie says the panic attack stems from health anxiety as she awaits corrective surgery in January on her botched tummy tuck and will also get an eye lift. Feeling scared ahead of the procedures, the television personality revealed her mental health took a turn for the worst last week and has left her reaching out for medical help. I had a massive panic attack last week. It was the first one I've had in a while. My body has been swollen since I had surgery last year. My whole body is sore and puffy, my legs, my stomach, my face, my neck. I feel like I need popping, Carrie told OK. I was lying down in bed and I felt like I couldn't breathe. My throat and chest felt really tight, it was awful. I felt like I was going to die. I've arranged a call with my doctor but if it gets worse I'll go to A&E. I suffer from health anxiety and I'm really scared. Carrie secretly underwent a tummy tuck last year, but it went wrong. The only fan's favorite suffered unfortunate scarring and says her old belly button looks like something you'd see on a cigarette packet. Here's an exclusive for you, she began. I had a secret tummy tuck last year. I should never have had it done, and they cut my belly button off. Revealing her tummy, Carrie said, that's the old belly button, that shouldn't be there like that. Carrie's admission came after she claimed she was the biggest she's ever been without being pregnant. I have never been like this, this is the biggest I have ever been naturally without being pregnant I had my secret tummy tuck and I've never recovered properly. It hasn't healed and I have a lump there now. It is all swollen. I am having that sorted next year, she said. If you are struggling with mental health, you can speak to a trained advisor from Mind Mental Health Charity on 0300-123-3393 or email info at mind.org.uk.